Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Star Guides. My name is Byronic, and today I'm going to teach you how to install Voice Attack, how to apply a profile, and show what Voice Attack looks like in Arena Commander. Now, before we get into any of that, what exactly is Voice Attack? Well, have you ever wanted to sit behind the controls of your ship and dictate commands using your voice? Have you ever imagined being in the captain's chair telling number one to make it so? Well, that's exactly what voice attack is. It's a program which takes commands that you speak into your microphone and turns them into a series of keyboard presses and mouse actions. We're going to go over the profile commands later in the video, but as a brief example, while, while flying in Star Citizen, you'll be able to dictate commands like Mac Shields or uh, Disable Safeties without taking your hands off your controller. In turn, Voice Attack will automatically redirect all power to Shields and disable G-Safe and Comstab. It may seem complicated at first, but it's actually quite simple. That being said, let's get this video underway. All right, so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is install Voice Attack. To do that, you need to go to voiceattack.com and make a choice between using a limited trial of 21 days or spend eight US dollars for the full version. That's correct, Voice Attack is not free after the trial period, but personally for just $8, I feel there is little to no risk, especially after you see what the software is capable of. Also, keep in mind the custom profiles, like the one I'll be giving to you, is not a free feature. Okay, so that being said, navigate to the purchase page and follow the instructions. You'll be emailed a registration key you will use after downloading the client, but be warned it quite often ends up in the spam box, which was the case for me. Okay, so now that you've done that, head over to the downloads page over here. Okay, so right off the bat, you may be tempted to click this giant download button, but instead, let's go ahead and click right down here for the uh, beta version. Let's see, the beta version 1.5.5.5. Okay, so we're using the beta version because the profile I'm using requires it. Now that we're on the beta downloads page, install the beta version by clicking the new download button. Okay, so you're gonna wanna follow the instructions in the, um, in the install wizard and you'll be all set. Okay, so I've already finished downloading this. I'll go ahead and pull it up. At this point, you should have the launcher up, which looks a little bit like this. Now, before you can actually use a custom profile, which I'll be giving you guys later, you're going to need to register your copy of Voice Attack. So what you wanna do is you wanna to go to your email that was sent after the purchase and cut that long code string into your clipboard. So now after you finish that, come on back here, click this little wrench at the top right, from here, look at the very bottom left at registration. Click that button and go ahead and copy your information in here. I've already registered this copy, so you, um, I'm only blocking out what you can't see because that's my private information. Um, and go ahead and put the information in. After a few seconds, it should say activation successful and you'll be all set. You can click OK, click OK again. What you're going to want to do now is voice attack should auto restart for you, but if it doesn't, make sure to do a full restart of the program so you can gain access to the to all the unlocked features. Okay, so now that we have voice attack installed, we need to get it so the program recognizes your voice. Voice attack uses the speech recognition engine that Microsoft provides for free. As long as you have a reasonably new version of Windows, simply navigate to the start menu and go to the control panel. Pretty simple stuff so far. From here, click on ease of access at the bottom right, and then head up here to speech recognition. What you're gonna wanna do is click the second option if you have your microphone set up. If you don't have your microphone set up, go ahead and set it up real quick and then come back to this step. Within here, it's pretty simple now. All you need to do is read the text out loud and your computer will begin to associate your accent and speech style with Windows. So the most important thing you can do here is twofold. First, Use your normal voice. Act like you're talking to your friends and not on stage giving a speech like I am right now. Talk, however, is most comfortable for you. Second, once you finish this step, do it over again at least two to four times. The reason why is the more you do it, the easier it is for voice attack to understand your commands. When I first set up voice attack, I did about 75% of one run through of speech training. When I went in game, voice attack only recognized about 50% of what I had to say. I then did it two more times, and now it's it's about 90% of being able to understand exactly what I say. Again, the more you do it, the better. Okay, so we're almost done setting up voice attack. We have the client installed. 
We've trained Microsoft to recognize our voice, and now we have to install the voice attack profile. VA profiles are what associate words to in-game commands. You are by no means required to use a pre-made profile and could instead make your own from scratch. But for this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Anna, one of the best profiles currently available for Star Citizen. And it was created by the user Monkey, which has about 10,000 views and 227 comments so far on the official Star Citizen forums. Now, I've included both the official forum post and manual in the description below. To install Anna, go to the forum post, as seen here, scroll down to the download Anna button, right here, and click it. A Google Doc should appear showing an XML file. Don't worry, this is super easy, I promise. All we have to do is look at the top bar of the file and click the Downloads button. What it's going to do is it's going to go ahead by default and put that file inside your Downloads folder. Okay. After clicking the Download button and navigating your way back to Voice Attack, what you're going to want to do is click this little drop-down window right here. It's going to have the option of import profiles, create new profiles, or show you existing profiles you already have. So go ahead and click import profile, and then head over to your downloads page. All right, give it a little second. It's going to only show these VAP files. Those are the ones that you already have. Now, I already have two of them, the one that I just installed and one of the older ones. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click one of these and then click open. Okay, I'm clicking cancel just for the sake of this. All right, so now that you've done this, you can go up here, select the Anna release, and now all of the commands associated with this profile are available to you. All that's left is to get in game and test it out. Okay, now that we're in game, let's go ahead and look at some of the basic and advanced commands. I'm not going to go over everything. There's a ton of them. There is actually a ton of them. However, you can find them all in the manual in the description below. So go ahead and save that and you can use that as kind of a, uh, a cheat sheet. So the first thing we're going to want to do is start the voice attack program. To do this with this particular profile, you can go ahead and say, Hey Anna. I'm back. Okay, so there she is. We're all good to go. Now let's go ahead and sort through our different uh, menus on our HUD. Uh, let's go look at our let's let's look at our shields. Show shields. Displaying shields. Okay, so that brought us straight to our shields without having to press any buttons. So let's look at let's go back to our weapons. Show weapons. Show weapons. Displaying weapons. Okay, just a quick note: the fact that I'm talking here, it picks it up, and if I do it too quickly, it's a run-on. So it's thinking that this might have been a command. So let's go ahead and go back. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the overview. Show overview. Displaying overview. So there we go. I waited a little bit, and now we can see this. So it's really easy to switch between all these commands just by simply saying it. All right. So those are some very, very basic commands. There are commands to turn on and off your lights. That you can set different throttle percentages. Um, so for for example, let me go ahead and use this one. Full throttle. Full speed. I I. Okay, so I didn't do anything. I know you can't see my keyboard, but it's it. You, you know, obviously you can test this out yourself. It works perfectly fine. Or I can say all stop. All stop. Stopping. Okay. Again, it was a run. About to hit something. <laughs> there, there was a run on again, but uh, as you can see, that works out very well too. You don't even have to touch anything. Personally, I think people should uh, use this program for some of the more complicated commands. I don't think you should be using it for throttle percentages unless it's there's a very specific case. But it's it's an example of some of the basic commands. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at some of the more advanced commands. So let's um show power. Displaying power system. Okay, so the green triangle has been the bane of a lot of people. Navigating it with a keyboard or with some other device can be problematic. However, I can say say I want to use um, more of my shields. Okay, max shields. Max shields. Diverting power to shields. Okay, I have to all power to shields. I have to continue to remember not to run on sentences, but there you go. So with a quick word, instead of having to go to your uh, your caps, I mean, your, not cap keys, your numpad and dealing with that, you can say a simple phrase. Max weapons. Power to weapons. Max engines. Done, not that it'll diverting power to engines. Okay, so you can All see power to doing a complete rotation of everything that you need between the different situations. Now, Anna also has some very interesting commands that are presets that do multiple things at once. So say I want to balance 
power between both shields and weapons. I have this command. Battle mode. Battle mode case. As you can Hello. see at Battle the... Mode. I, I... Okay. As you can see here at the top, it's gone ahead and placed the uh, the positioning right in the middle of weapons and uh, and shields. So it's a great mode to do when you're right close in the thick of combat. Now, what happens if I want to um, escape? Run away. Run away mode engaged. So run away mode, mode engaged. allows me to have shields and engines maximized. It's a great thing to do if you're doing uh, quick jousts and you want to keep running away and there's somebody behind you. Now. Let's go ahead and say, okay, well, let's, we, we don't want any specific power constraint. Balance power. Power being balanced. Okay, so there we go. We, power balanced. We, we now are right back to the center, and now from here, we can do whatever we want. So let's, let's go ahead and look at something very specific. Show shields. Displaying shields. Okay, so from here, one of the most important things to do while you're dogfighting is having the appropriate shield strength where the enemy is coming from. So say he's coming directly at me, I can say something like front shields. Maxing front shields. If you take I've a look at front shields. If you take a look at the left, your GUI changed to display a uh, your front shields are now um, at, at a significant power advantage than something else. And we can do that every direction. Rear shields. Rear shields. Maxing rear shields. Left shields. Max rear shields maxed. Right Maxing shields. Left shields. Maxing right shields. Right shields maxed. Okay, so maybe you are done and you want to balance the power out between your shields. Balance shields. Balancing shield. So our shields are back to normal. This is a wonderful way of uh, using your brains in dogfighting to navigate your shield systems. So say you're running away and your your hull is going down, but you do have some pretty significant power on your front shields. You can simply say rear shields, rear shields, and then they'll be at rear. Now, what if I go into you know, if I go into uh, decouple mode. I can say something like front shields, front shields. And now I have the power is focused on the front, but I'm still able to dish out some damage while being protected in a very good way. Now, there are also other commands to disable Find safeties. There, it's, a, it's really awesome to do this. However, for me, I personally don't use them because I prefer using the keyboard, uh, the keyboard commands. So we can say G safe off. Displaying G safe shields. off. Okay, so we've disabled G safe. Com stab off. So now both of those are disabled. Displaying it's weapons. really cool. So let's go ahead and say uh, safeties on. So instead of doing individual ones, we can be uh, we can simply say safeties off. Safety off. Displaying overview and there we go. That's a perfect way to do it instead of having to press a couple commands I actually do use that one a little bit Safeties on So the same thing you can do you can use it with decouple um, the commands are all listed there um, But besides that one of the most useful in this is cycling Both pinned feet. targets I, I so I can pin targets I'm in a, a Free range mode, so you can't really see me using it. However, it's very simple uh, you can simply say pin when you have a target and it will automatically pin the target that you've selected Stopping. Now I can't cycle Only myself unfortunately, so I can't give you an example But hopefully these basic and some of these more advanced commands have been able to show you how Amazing this program is Anna is easily the best profile that I personally used and I've gone through about three or four So if you guys are really interested in this go check out the forum post go check out voiceattack.com um, if for those interested, this program is not against the rules. In fact, CIG is so impressed with voice attack in general, they have said Displaying some words about system. considering including some kind of integrated software. That is probably a little bit much, but I think that uh, as like a, a very future goal, that could be a possibility. I think that would be amazing having something solid and integrated within Star Citizen itself. Anyways, folks, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, Diverting would 100% recommend it, but All if you want to see more content like this in the future, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. My name is Byronic, that is it.